Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom and today we're going to cover a video about the Venn photo cart and uh, some of the stuff in the setup tab like the design watermarking and some general settings. So first thing you're going to do is click on the setup tab and you're going to see these three tabs right here uh, that we're going to be talking about. And the first one is the settings tab and this is going to be some general options that go along with your Venn photo cart. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to type type in your site name and we have ours to vend photo cart but this could be your your photography studio name or, or your name whatever you want to appear and um, your browser title this is what's going to appear in the the top of the browser and so what you want to do is you don't want to change this back piece you just want to change this front piece and go ahead and add your your name and your company name and what's going to happen is it's going to show you the the structure of the the browser what's going to appear in the browser so it's going to be your name and then it's going to be whatever page they're on so if it's the contact page or or the splash page or whatever it is it's it's going to um, it's going to organize that in the browser titles we do have your meta tag uh, description and keywords in here although most people don't use this because they don't really use their vend photo cart for SEO purposes uh, but you do have the ability to put that in if you like we do have a footer link and site footer text and this information right here like this copyright is going to appear on um, right here when you have when you have uh, any of your dialog windows and this is your contact window and you're gonna have it right here at the bottom so um, that that is going to be uh, something that you're going to want to put in to get your copyright information and I know that's pretty important to photographers um, and your invoice footer text is going to go actually on the printed invoice that gets sent to your client so another place that you're going to want to get that in there now if you come down here the next option Google Analytics you can find your UA code and, and, and type it right in here it's going to look like this UA and then a bunch of uh, numbers and you can put that in there to have some some tracking associated with your Google Analytics and then the next option is the resampling quality and this is something that we have called server-side resampling and we have a lot of image, images that are that are being crunched and you'll notice that when different people come to look at your vend the size of of their browsers are going to be different and so we deliver different size information dif different size images uh, to display on those different browsers so you can play around with the quality here and this is actually gonna this is gonna allow your um, your images to load faster you can turn down the quality and, I, and I, I think you should play around with this you'll see ours is turned down to 90 you could probably turn yours down to 80 and most of your clients wouldn't be able to take the Pepsi challenge on whether it was 100% or 80% and this could actually save you quite a bit of bandwidth so this is a pretty good bandwidth saving device if you like um, you have in here options to allow for pe people to pick black and white or sepia and that would appear when you go into Vend if you were to click on an image and you were to load the cart on the left side right here you're going to see uh, the color tone choice and so you can offer these or not offer these it kind of depends on what you do for your business but if you don't want to offer these you just simply come in and you click false and we have ours right now set to true if you want to show the image wall tooltips you can certainly do that and the tooltips are these right here and you'll see that it displays the image names when I roll over different images so you can turn that on or off uh, sometimes helps if if you name all your photos in a certain way and you kinda wanna talk to your clients over the phone you guys might be able to use that as, as some some sort of a communication tool and then um, we have in here use image magic library and automatic uh, sharpening and so image li magic library is not something that is on every server uh, I believe that it won't be there if you're running PHP 4 which if you're running PHP 4 you should probably ask your hosting provider to upgrade you but image image magic library is going to make it so that your server crunches all the image data more efficiently and since Vend is a high image data product you're gonna want to turn this on if you have the capabilities to do this and any hosting provider that we recommend you're gonna have this ability uh, to use image magic library the automatic resharpening comes into play when you are when you are having clients that come with different browser sizes and they are getting a you know a different size image to fit their browser uh, we have the sharpening turned on so it doesn't soften your images at all and then we have your local time zone and this is great for um, when you want to uh, set your time zone and keep everything organized when your orders come in and you know what time they came in and so on so go ahead and set your time zone here by selecting the drop down right there so that's those are your general set of options and now we're gonna move over to the design tab 
Now the first option in the design tab is the dialog logo. So if you're in Vend and you click on anything that's going to pop up a dialog window like this contact form, uh, you have the option to have your logo in there. And that logo can be put right here. And that dialog window has a few options as well. You can round the corners and you can change the stroke and width of the uh, of the border. So I'm going to go back to this and ours is set to zero so we have a full corner but you can go ahead and round these corners by by turning that number up and then you'll notice that we have very little to no border around our dialog box but you can actually turn up this number and that stroke will actually get wider. So um, you can play around with those settings and, and see what works for you. And then you have your navigation logo. This navigation logo will appear down here and so you can upload a navigation logo uh, so that your product is you know constantly branded and, and and if anybody should come there they should be able to see your logo and, and kinda know whose photo cart this is so um, we have the next option which is embed font glyphs which is used for non-latin languages uh, so if you are using if you're using uh, standard you know English uh, language you're not gonna have to worry about this but if you are um, if you need to embed font glyphs you know who you are and go ahead and turn that on to true you can select your font style here to determine uh, what the fonts are gonna look like in your Venn photo cart you have your background top gradient and background bottom gradient colors and if you were to go into the Venn photo cart and I wanna find a place that's gonna show you a little bit more of the background so I'm gonna eliminate some of these here and uh, you'll see that this background is all one flat color and what we have is the same color in both of these spots if you were to put two different colors it'll actually blend them into a gradient so if you had dark to light or light to dark or red to blue um, you can change the top color to blend into the bottom color and you can pick your colors by just clicking here and, and, and clicking on the color wheel or you can actually grab your hex code from Photoshop and drop it in there so you make sure that you have your exact branded colors that you're looking for and then um, we also have in the, uh, the with the backgrounds you can actually upload a background image you have to be careful when you do this because it could be uh, a little distracting if you have an image that's going to be um, you know very busy so if you upload a background image you have the opportunity to decide if you want it to fill frame if you want it to tile uh, tile horizontally or tile tile vertically and so you have those options that you can play around with as well um, the stroke color is any line weights that are in uh, the Venn photocard interface so you can play around with the colors of the strokes um, the application background color and the um, form background color you can play around with these the application background color again if I were to click on the contact form is going to be this color here it's this background of, of, of this and then the uh, form the uh, the form background color is going to be when you're filling out like your credit card information the area that you're typing in uh, that'll be that that color as well and you'll notice that we have these darker on a lighter background so you can see them really well your uh, foreground color is going to be we have it lighter because most of our stuff is dark and that's going to be anything like these icons um, like this right here and and those are any of these icons these are our foreground colors are the colors that are in the front your favorite highlights color is going to be on your favorites so uh, you'll see this blue and this blue can be found in the back end right here and the favorites highlight color so when somebody's clicking on their favorites that's the color it's going to highlight we have uh, different video player skins. Uh, most people just use our glossy default. Um, and you can suppress the contact icon in the navigation bar. So if you come down here and you don't want this contact here, you can go ahead and just get rid of it by clicking true to suppress it. And then we have our invoice logo. Now this logo is going to be on the invoice and it's going to be pr print ready. So you're going to want it to be about 300 DPI so that it, when your client gets the invoice, if they do want to print it out, your logo is not going to look all fuzzy like web resolution. So we're allowing you a high resolution here so that it looks really nice and um, when they when they print it out. You have uh, back to the dialog logo position. Uh, the dialog logo again is right here and you can position it to be left, center, or right. And you have those options right here. You also have the ability to link uh, your navigation logo to your website. So if you were to click on this, it would take you to the place um, that you specify in this area. And then um, our cart highlight color is we have it set to blue. So anytime you're anytime you're rolling over or anytime you clicked on anything and it wants to highlight it, it'll highlight it to that color. 
Um, and essentially that is your your design setup. Now, one of the things that you could do to come in here really quick is just to play around and find things is you could go ahead and just change all these, change these colors to different colors and it'll really quickly show you. If, if you change the stroke color to pink or purple, you're going to quickly find out what it is. So I recommend just playing around and getting your branded colors in there and making it look as branded as you can. Um, let's go to the next tab, which is the watermarking tab. Now, watermarking is actually true watermarking. So it's actually going to take your logo or uh, whatever it is and actually burn it on the image. So if if um, if you put a logo in there, it's going to it's gonna protect it as, as much as it possibly can. Um, but you have to decide if you want to use a watermark image. It's it's up for debate and, and you have to make that decision. But if you do, you can go ahead and click true. And you can actually upload an image in there. Uh, most most likely it's going to be your logo. Uh, I would recommend that you make your logo one color and put it in there so it's not super distracting. And we uploaded ours as a transparent ping so you only get the letters. And if you look at any of these images, you're going to see that they are watermarked uh, here with that image. And, the, and then you're also going to notice that these crosshairs are put in there. And that's another watermarking option. So we have draw crosshairs to be true. And back to adding the logo as your watermark you can decide where it sits by moving moving it up or down on an x and y axis and we've set ours to the bottom right and you can also set the opacity so if you want it to be if you want it to be really light or really dark you can go ahead and set that opacity and determine what works best for you and your logo um, the crosshairs color if you mark it to true you can determine what color it is white seems to work best um, but if you have a lot of images that are light, you might want to pick a, a color. Um, we, we picked white because we think it's not very distracting and it tends to, it tends to um, draw a line at some point in the image. And um, essentially that is your watermarking options. Once you do all that, go ahead and click save. And make sure you click save at the bottom of every tab before you leave the tab. And um, those are the general settings. I hope that was informative and I appreciate you listening. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through our support at intothedarkroom.com. Thanks again.